This video will discuss how to safely care for your shoulder after rotator cuff repair surgery with Dr. David Linner. After surgery, your arm will be placed in a shoulder sling or immobilizer. The purpose of the sling is to support and protect the shoulder. Be sure to keep the sling on most of the time, especially when you're up and about, when you leave the house, and for sleeping. You may remove the sling when you are seated in a protected environment, for example, on your couch, or for dressing, showering, or bathing. Position the sling somewhere between your side and your belly so that it feels natural. The pillow should sit between you and the sling. Please do not remove the pillow unless otherwise instructed. Adjust the height of the sling so that your arm feels like it is rested and relaxed in the sling. After surgery, it's good to be up and moving around. Just be sure to keep your sling on. While you're in your sling, you may type or write. If you have to adjust the sling at the wrist to do so, that's fine. Please do not actively move your shoulder. Actively moving your shoulder means using your muscles to move your shoulder. Instead, you should think of yourself as having a dead arm. Active reaching and moving puts tension on the repair and can disrupt the repair. When you are out of the sling, please keep in mind the dead arm concept and rest your arm dangled at your side. If you need to clean your armpit area, free your arm from the sling and rest it dangled at your side. Then lean your body forward or to the side and let your weight sway the arm freely away from your body. While doing this, be sure not to use your muscles to move your arm. You may bend and straighten the elbow to touch your face. While bending and straightening the elbow, please do not hold anything heavier than a pen, pencil, spoon, or fork in your hand. Unless otherwise instructed, there are no shoulder exercises to do immediately after surgery. Physical therapy will be discussed at your first post-op visit. So let's go over how to get in and out of your sling and then do's and don'ts while you're out of your sling. So to get out of the sling, I like to start with the shoulder strap first. So you're just gonna unclip, unclip at the waist. Some slings have a strap that goes over the top and if you do, just unvelcro that. When you're taking the sling off, what you wanna think about is having a dead arm. So this arm needs to be completely relaxed and you're just gonna kinda slip that sling out and let that arm fall to the side and just keep it dangled to the side. Now when you're out of your sling, again, keep in mind the dead arm that you have. You do not want to use your muscles in any way to move your shoulder. So you don't want to reach forward to your side or to the back. It's got to be dangled to your side. It is okay for you to bend and straighten the elbow. You can bend the elbow to touch your face. You can bend it to write or type. You can even bend it to use a fork or spoon to eat. The key is, is to keep this relaxed and you're not moving that shoulder in any way. It's just to your side and then the elbow is bending and straining. Now, if you have your sling on, it is okay for you to type and write also. If you need to just loosen up the sling at the wrist, that's okay. Uh, using your mouse is okay too because that's just your fingers and your wrist. Don't use the mouse out here or type out here. It's better just to push the keyboard and the mouse over here and then use it like this. What can be challenging after surgery is cleaning in your armpit area. So what you're gonna do is, keep in mind the dead arm concept, you're not moving the shoulder by firing your muscles, you're just instead gonna lean forward with your body and then let that arm sway out by using gravity. And then you should be able to get in here. Now if that's not enough room, you can actually lean out to your side a little bit again and then let that arm sway out with gravity and then get under here to clean. To put your sling back on, we're gonna use the same concept. So that dead arm, completely relaxed to your side. You're just gonna lean forward a little bit to your side here and then let that, bend the elbows okay and then let that arm sling fit right in there. And then clip in your straps in any order. that one last one that goes over the top that's okay and then just adjust your sling 
to whatever's comfortable, that natural position that we discussed where your arm is completely relaxed in the sling. If you have somebody who's helping you put the sling on, keep in mind the dead arm, and then you can lean forward or to your side so they can slip that sling and pillow in. Or they can actually use their arm to lift your arm out away from your body. You're not helping them by moving the shoulder, you're just leaning forward or to your side. And you see how much room you have here. They can actually just slip it in while your arm, while they move your arm just a little bit out of the way. You don't want them to take it way out here, but if they just move your arm enough to slip it in while you're keeping your arm relaxed, that should work out too. So if you follow these do's and don'ts, you should be in good shape. If you have a catheter from your block, please do not take a shower until the catheter is removed. If you do not have a catheter, you may shower at any time because the dressing is waterproof. Two days after the surgery, you may remove your dressings. Please leave the steri strips that are on your incisions alone. At this point, you may shower as long as you can keep the incisions dry. Try using waterproof band-aids or plastic wrap to cover the incisions while showering. This usually works very well. Follow these post-op instructions and you'll be doing your job to protect your repair. Thank you for watching.